Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share a, a roundup of indie patterns that we've added to our website recently. I've picked out some of my favourite patterns and paired them with these gorgeous brightly coloured dressmaking fabrics, all of which you can find on our website. I'm going to pop links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. And if you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our other social accounts. We're in all the usual places and I've linked those below. And before I get started with the roundup, I thought I'd just quickly show you what I'm wearing. Sometimes I forget to do this, but this is one of my favourite, favourite dresses it's McCall's 8139 available on our site I'll pop a link to it below and um, just a great classic shirt dress pattern I'm wearing it with bare legs and sandals today because it's really warm but in the winter I like to layer it up with turtlenecks and jackets and coats and um, thick tights and it is just a total wardrobe workhorse so I thought I'd share that with you but let's get on to the exciting new patterns then so we've got a lovely range of indie patterns on our website I'll pop a link to where you can can find them all below because there's loads of other brands in there but I've just picked out some of the ones we've added recently um, and done a bit of a roundup of those but the first one I want to share with you is by Made by Ray Sewing Patterns and it's the Rose Trouser Pattern or Trousers and Shorts Pattern. I really like this one this is the sort of thing I really need to make and I need to get in my wardrobe but I always get sort of distracted by the pretty dresses um, but I think this looks like a great trouser and short pattern pattern very contemporary looking high-waisted which I love um, with a waistband and then at the front you can either have um, pleats it's got slash pockets and a pleated front and then it's got an elasticized um, waist at the back for comfort um, but also that's going to help with the fit as well and I really love that design I really love the sort of pleated front and the high waist and the waistband and then the elasticated um, back because you've got that sort of smart smooth very sort of flattering finish on the front but you've got that comfort at the back um, and then it's got options to go for three lengths so you can go for a shorts, um, crop trousers or full length trousers. All of them are a nice wide leg, so very contemporary again. Um, recommended fabrics are things like light to medium weight woven fabrics such as tensile twills, rayons, linen rayon blends, um, silk noir, um, linen blends, cotton blends, that sort of thing. So um, the sizes run from an XXS up to a five so an XXS is a 26 and a half waist and a 34 and a half hip and a size five is a 51 waist and a 59 hip um, and the fabric I chose for this one has to be our cotton linen mix fabric which I need to get round to making something with um, we've got it in all these glorious colors we've got it in your sort of neutral colors um, like navy and black if that's more your bag uh, but as you know I am a lover of bold colour and I really I was on a beautiful French clothing website the other day and I saw a pair of high-waisted wide leg trousers in this jade green colour and just thought they looked so chic and stylish um, so that would be my choice for that one I'm actually going on holiday in just over a week and I was supposed to be making another sundress um, but I'm sort of thinking oh should I make myself a pair of those shorts instead probably would be more useful um, so yeah I don't know the jury's out on that one will I change my plans I don't know but it's possible because I really like that pattern and I really like that fabric all of the patterns and fabrics I'm mentioning are linked below by the way so do check out those links below the next pattern I wanted to share with you is by Liesl & Co. It's the Enmore Halter Dress and Top, which comes in sizes 0 to 20. And the Liesl & Co. patterns a lot of the time do do cup sizes for A, B cups or C and D cups. Um, and this is one of those because it's a sort of loose fitting, um, almost like a swing dress and top with a halter neck that's gathered round the neckline um, but inside the top there's a shelf bra um, so you know great for comfort you, you know depending on how you feel about it you might not need to wear a bra with this one in my world that's a great thing um, but I know not everyone's comfortable with that but quite a nice touch that it has got this bra built into it um, it's got narrow straps and it has got pockets as 
well if you like pockets it can be cut on the grain or on the bias if you want more drape to the fabric if you do cut it on the bias my top tip would be let it hang because the fabric may well drop so let it hang before you hem it at least 24 hours I mean some some fabrics drop like crazy um, so the fabrics recommended for it just drapey lightweight semi drapey or drapey woven fabrics um, a size naught is a 32 and a half bust, 25 waist and 35 hip. And a size 20 is a 46 bust, 38 and a half waist and a 48 and a half hip. Um, so yeah, you've got the option for the little top or the sort of loose fitting dress. Great wardrobe staple for summer. Um, I think the dress again, another one. I wish I could get all these things ready for next week when I go on holiday, but um, yeah just great for chucking on when you're on holiday nice and easy to wear i might change my plans to this one as well the dress i was going to make might end up being one of these i'm not sure yet um but the fabric i chose for that is this lovely john caldor fernando fabric which is um a viscose fabric <laughs> got there in the end and i thought that the top on the pattern packet looked really nice it was like a dark color um fabric with a multicolored sort of popping um ditzy almost print on it and i thought oh i might just copy that idea with this lovely fernando fabric so it's got a black background and then beautiful orange purple and pink flowers which i really like i think that's a really unusual co color combination comes in another colorway as well all of these are going to be linked below so do check out the links you'll find them all on our website but it's got the perfect amount of drape to it i really like the fernando fabric fabrics as well I've made a dress in one of these before because they're I think for a viscose fabric they're a good weight they're not one of the super flimsy ones um, so they are a nice weight for dresses as well if you wanted to make the dress version um, so that's my choice for that one the next pattern is another Liesl & Co pattern. It's the Tribeca Knit Cami. Again, just another wardrobe workhorse, really super easy to wear for summer. Um, so it's made out of knit fabrics. You've got the option for a V at the front, and then it's got spaghetti straps that cross over at the back. Um, or you've got the option for a square um, like halter neck at the front. And again, the straps cross over at the back. Um, it's designed for knit fabrics with at least 25% stretch and it includes two close fitting cami styles and this one's got a built in bra for support and shaping again. Doesn't mention cup sizes on this one um, but I guess it's a stretch pattern so there's going to be a bit more um, room for manoeuvre in that fabric anyway. Um, so the sizes run from an XXS to an XXL. An XXS is a 31 and a half bust, 24 waist, 34 hip and XXL is 46 bust, 38 and a half waist and 48 and a half hip. And the fabric I chose for this one is our lovely John Caldor Cadiz fabric which is a cotton jersey fabric. I really love this this fabric it's great quality it's very reasonably priced I can vouch that it washes and wears beautifully because I've made lots of things in this over the years it comes in a great range of colors this is like the fuchsia purpley pinky color which I really like um, but I think the Cadiz is great for these sort of close fitting knit patterns um, if you want something I mean some people like to use these for looser fitting t-shirts as well you can see there is drape in it but we've got a viscose jersey fabric range um, that I prefer for like drapey t-shirts and that sort of thing but if you want to make one of these close fitting knit um, patterns I think the Cadiz is great because it's a really nice sort of substantial it's a good weight um, and I just think it works really well for those sorts of patterns and it's lovely lovely quality so that was my choice for that one but that comes in a range of colors so obviously I'm going to pop the link below for you um, for that so do jump on the website and have a look if that's not your color then we're on to named patterns have released some new designs recently so the first one I want to share with you is the Cisco interlace dress and top and I believe this can actually be used as a mater there's a maternity option and breastfeeding option with this as well for anybody who um, 
needs those patterns. Um, but yeah, I just really like the top version of this pattern. So it's got a keyhole opening in the center of the bus there and it crosses over, one of the straps crosses over at the top and then it crosses over underneath the keyhole as well and then ties at the back so all of these cut out detail designs are so so on trend at the moment so very much on trend and then the dress has got an elasticated waist and it looks like a sort of gentle a-line midi length skirt to that um, but for me it would be the top that i would make and i think i'd wear that quite a lot during the summer um, so this runs in sizes um, from a naught or four up to a 24 28 so the full bust on the smallest size is 29 and 7 eighths of an inch the waist is 23 and 5 eighths of an inch and the hip is 33 and an eighth of an inch the larger size is um, a 52 and three quarter bust 46 and a half waist and 55 and seven eighths of an inch hip and again the fabric i've chosen for this one is our lovely john caldor cadiz fabric and i thought the top would look fabulous in this gorgeous gorgeous orange color um, paired with a pair of dark indigo denim shorts or black denim shorts perhaps i've just bought a new pair of black high-waisted denim shorts i think it would look great great with those and again I've, I've talked you through this fabric and why it's so good for those sorts of patterns um, and there are further colours on the website so do jump on and check those out as well. Then the next pattern is by Named Patterns again um, it's the Ilma smock dress and top so this looks like a super easy make but quite a lot of fun as well and um, this reminds me of a dress that I was in Spain a few years ago um, we went to a lovely part of Spain up in the north um, with my best friend and her family um, and it's full of French and Spanish people there's there's hardly any British people there it's a really lovely region of Spain um, and I just remember seeing a woman wearing something like this and she looked so so unbelievably chic um, so it's an off-the-shoulder bardo style dress that's a smock dress so it's very loose fitting um, it's got a three-quarter length sleeve um, that's gathered at the hem and then gathered into elastic by the looks of it at the hem elasticated and gathered across the um, chest and shoulder area and then it's got a panel um, ruffle on the hem as well and I just remember seeing this woman in a dress like this so simple um, such a loose fitting design but she was wearing it in a lovely sort of blue pale blue chambray fabric um, and then just had like a big pair of earrings on and some flat sandals and she just looked amazing you know and you just want to go up to someone and say you look fantastic it was one of those moments um, so anyway it made me think of this gorgeous chambray fabric which is a Robert Kaufman um, which we've had in recently which has got these gorgeous little neon flex in it um, really subtle but lovely little pink and green neon flex in it I really need to make something in this fabric as well um, and I just think the dress would look great made up in this just watch the width on this one because it's not the widest of fabrics um, but all the details are on the website and I'm going to pop links below for everything so you can find it nice and easily um, but this would have plenty of drape and movement for that dress but you can go for more structured wovens with it as well depending on how much volume you want and what sort of effect you want to create um, the top has straps so it's got the gathered elasticated finish across um, the neckline and then gathered elasticated straps it looks like let me just check that so it's an airy off the shoulder mini dress and cute A-line top. Both variations feature a wavy tiered hemline and an elasticated neckline. Yes, they are elasticated neckline. Um, the dress variation has wrist, wrist length puff sleeves with gathered sleeve openings and the top comes with ruffle shoulder straps. Um, you can also make a sleeveless dress with shoulder straps as well um, or sew the top with puff sleeves at and off the shoulder neckline so you've got options there and again both option variations are maternity friendly as well um, so that's useful to know but yeah really like that dress as well and then finally 
Um, so to grow have released a couple of patterns recently um, she released some trousers and culottes which are on the website I'll pop links below um, but I've already showed you the rose trousers I think they're sort of fairly similar um, but I wanted to show you the lanty swing dress um, so oh it's a dress and a top this is and it's got lots of different options and just looks like a super easy sew she's given it a skill level two out of five so something nice and quick to whip up um, but something that would be really super easy to wear as well and I think the styling for this one the photographs she's done and the fabric she's chosen are just great right at my street bold bright colorful get you excited just looking at them and I think because it is quite a simple pattern um, it really does work with nice big bold prints but then again she's used some plain fabrics as well if that's more your bag and more muted tones so yeah just lots of um, options and variety you can go for with this one um, so it's got different so it's got a flirty smock dress with a gathered waist a sleek a-line dress with pockets and a basic top um, you have the option of adding short sleeves with a band or three-quarter sleeve with a frill um, it includes side darts a face neckline and a back button closure for ease of wear so it's only a little button closure at the back so no zips or anything so a super easy sew um, it's a great learn the basics of dressmaking pattern um, to start building your, your handmade wardrobe but also just you know if you just need a quick make you've got something that you need to um, you know you're going on holiday you need an extra dress or something this looks great um, runs in sizes 8 to 22 so the 8 is a 33 to 34 bust 28 to 29 waist 35 to 36 hip and the 22 is a 47 to 48 bust 43 to 44 waist and 49 to 50 hip um, works with fabrics with drape woven fabrics with drape light to medium weight woven fabrics um, I think as I say it holds those bold prints really really well so I've chosen this gorgeous dashwood rayon fabric beautiful popping colors um, and I just think making the simple sort of shift dress would look really really nice in this but I think it would work really well for the top as well so I hope you've enjoyed my little roundup today do jump on and check out the links below I've linked everything I mentioned in the video but I've also put a link to our indie pattern section of the website where you'll find lots of other lovely independent brands there as well if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time